hi everyone my name is Busari Abiodun. welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss about ledger account under which we are going to look at the meaning of ledger the types of ledger we have the double entry principle and how to apply double entry principle in preparing ledger also we will identify we will be looking at how to identify a debit transaction and a credit transaction that is how to know whether an entry is going to be debited or credited and we will be taking examples to for us to understand better how to prepare a ledger let's look at it so what is a ledger a ledger is described as the principal book of account because it contains the account of all transactions made by the business so it is the book of final entry because all financial transactions have their final say there here that is all the transactions made in the business are finally recorded in the ledger because the ledger is the account which is used to balance each of the transaction so in, for in the ledger there are two sides so we have the debit side and we have, we have the credit side the left hand side is the debit side while the right hand side is the credit side the debit side of the ledger is the receiving side that is anytime we are receiving we debit the account anytime we are giving out that is we credit the account which is the right hand side so let's look at the format of a ledger just like i said a ledger account is in t format we have the debit side which is by the left we have the credit side which is by the right the debit side is the receiving side which is for the receiver where the credit side is the given side which is for the giver now let's look at the types of ledger so there are six types of ledger and these are the types of ledger we have we have the sales ledger which is used to record goods sold on credit purchase ledger is meant for recording good purchases on credit we have the return inward ledger the return inward ledger is used to record all the goods returned by the customer to the business why the return outward ledger is used to record all the goods returned to the supplier by the business we have the cash book any cash transaction either we purchase or we are receiving in cash it is recorded in the cash book why the final one is the general ledger which is also called general ledger this ledger is used to record all the transactions that cannot be recorded in all other ledgers that have been mentioned and well, what are those transactions correction of errors if there are errors in the account and we want to correct it we use general ledger to correct it also sales or purchase of assets on credit that cannot be recorded in the sales account or purchases account sales, sales ledger and purchases ledger are meant for goods that the business is selling that have been purchased on credit or sold on credit but in the case of the assets assets are materials that are purchased for use if those assets are purchased on credit they will be recorded in the general ledger now we are moving on to the preparation of ledger in preparing ledger the preparation of ledger is based on double entry principle and what does the double entry principle states the double entry principle states that for every debit entry there must be a corresponding credit entry and for every credit entry there must be a corresponding debit entry what this principle is saying is that for every transactions there will always be two accounts one account will be receiving the other account will be given out that is the receiving account will be debited while the giving out account will be credited that is for every debit entry there must be a corresponding credit entry and vice versa that is what the double entry is talking about now let's take this to example january 10 2020 purchase motor van in cash hundred thousand naira the second entry january 20 2020 purchase goods in cash twelve thousand naira how do we treat this transaction in the ledger let's start with the first one january 10 2020 purchased motor van and cash the first thing we are going to do anytime we are having transaction is to identify the giver and the receiver that is the two accounts that are involved in the case of this one we have motor van and we have cash so which means we have cash account and we have the motor van account those are the two accounts that are involved so we are going to prepare the ledger for cash account so we draw the ledger cash account then we draw the ledger for the motor van account so we purchase which means 
cash is going out. We are going to credit the cash account with 100,000 naira. That is cash, motor van, 100,000 naira. Why the corresponding debit entry goes to the motor van account? That means we are going to debit motor van account with 100,000 naira. Now let's look at the second entry. January 20, 2020, purchased goods in cash, 12,000 Naira. Let's identify the two accounts that are involved. In this case, we are having cash account and we are having purchases account. So, we prepare, identify the two accounts. We have cash account and we have purchases account. So, that is, we are going to prepare the ledger for cash account. Then, we prepare the ledger for purchases account. So, this time around, we are purchasing Cash is also going out. We are going to credit the cash account to it, 12,000 Naira. While the purchases account, which is receiving, we are going to debit it to it, 12,000 Naira. So, if we look at the two entries we just treated, the first one, which is for the January 10, we said purchase motor van in cash, 100,000 Naira. But when we identify the two accounts, we have cash account um motor van account the second entry which is purchase of goods in cash twelve thousand we have cash account and um, purchases account the question is why did it have purchases account in the first account that we have the motor van account which means in the ledger you have to understand the nature of a transaction so that is for you to in a simple term that is for you to be able to know the account to use you must be able to understand the nature of transaction and how do you know the account to be debited and the account to be credited these are the things i've summarized here that is in a simple term all assets are debit entry while all liabilities are credit entry that is anything asset is a debit entry you are going to debit it anything liability is a credit entry you are going to credit it also all income if it is income it is a credit entry while all expenses are debit entry so understanding this one we make you to be able to understand how to post an entry into the ledger that is understanding the nature of transaction apps in preparation of ledger so for you to understand better i want you to know that if you are talking about transactions there are two types of transaction we have cash transactions and credit transaction so when we have your cash transaction there is a way we prepare it in the ledger if it is a credit transaction it has its own preparation so if you understand these two you will not be having problem with ledger account now let's look at it treatment of cash transaction so in every cash transaction the two accounts that will be involved will be cash account and the items account take note of that anytime the transaction is a cash transaction the two accounts that will be involved will be cash account and the items account so that is anytime cash is received so the cash account will be debited and from where do you receive cash when you sell sell goods you will receive cash discount you can receive discount from supplier you can receive dividend from investment all those money anytime you receive money that means you are going to debit the cash account why the corresponding entry will go to the various account like the don't so the will go to the various account likewise when cash payment is made that is anytime you purchases you are going to credit the cash account why the corresponding entry will go to the various account so in this case if we post if we make make payment for electricity salary transportation motor van, that means we are going to credit cash account why we debit electricity account transportation account motor van account among others that is how to treat a cash transaction that is once again anytime you make a cash transaction the two accounts that will be involved will be cash account and the items account so in the case of a credit transaction this is where students normally have problem with their ledger because anytime in the case of credit transaction two parties will be involved is either the debtors or the creditors in place of the cash account which means you have debtors or creditors account and the items account if you remember we say in the case of cash we have cash account and the items account so but if the transaction is in credit you are going to have debtors or creditors account that is anytime the business sell goods on credit so you know money is not received they are going to open debtors account while they open the corresponding entry goes to the items account that's the reason i say every credit says like goods 
assets such as motor van, furniture, machine, etc. are debited into the debtor's account, which is a personal account. So for you to understand this better, you can check out my videos on, on the classification of accounts. You understand what debtor's account is, you understand what creditor's account is, and you understand the various classes of accounts that we have. So when credit transactions are involved, when the business makes sales or they sell assets, they debit debtor's account in place of cash bill. Why the corresponding entry will go to the various items account, like the motor van. That means we debit the motor van, we credit the debtor's account, which is the person that is buying the goods on credit. Also, every time credit purchases are are made so that means we are going to credit creditors account so which is the seller the seller is the creditors whenever we buy on credit we, have, we are going to identify the seller we credit his account where the corresponding entry will go to the items account by the time we take the illustration you understand better what i'm saying by this so let's take these examples down have you Toronto Limited purchased goods worth 20,000 naira in cash from Jones Limited the second one, I'm seeing a retail outlet purchase goods worth fifteen thousand on credit from Bush Limited. The third item, Fad was sold goods worth fifty thousand on credit to Aja. Number four, Johnson Ventures sold goods worth eight thousand on credit to Aja. The fifth one, purchased in or furniture in cash thirty thousand naira. Why the last one paid electricity in cash ten thousand naira? You have to prepare the ledger account for each of the above transactions so let's start taking them one after the other so abiodun limited purchase goods worth twenty thousand dollar in cash from jones so the first thing is that you identify the two accounts what type of transaction is this one this is a cash transaction just like i said anytime you have a cash transaction that is you are going to have a cash account and the items account so what does abiodon purchase it purchase goods which means you are going to have cash account and purchases account so so you prepare the ledger you have cash account why you also prepare the ledger for purchases accounts so this time, time around the cash is going out which means we are going to credit cash account with twenty eight thousand naira that is cash account credit twenty thousand naira why the corresponding debit entry will go to the purchases account that is with debit purchases account with what cash twenty thousand naira now the second item adamson a retail hotel outlet purchase goods worth fifteen thousand naira on credit from bush limited this is also a purchase account but this is a credit transactions just like i said instead of cash transaction so if it is a credit transaction that means we are going to identify the creditors here who is the creditors that is bush limited he is the seller so that means we are going to identify the creditors and open creditors account which are creditors here is bush limited that is we are going to open bush limited account and purchases account that's it we hope we put bush limited account who is the creditor then we hope home purchases account so now this time around so we are purchasing which means the creditors we are holding so is giving now so we are going to credit the creditors account where the purchase which is receiving we debit the purchase account that is we credit the bush limited with fifteen thousand naira while we debit purchases account with fifteen thousand naira because it is a credit transaction so we reckon with the seller which is bush limited if it is a cash transaction we have no business with the seller the only thing we record is the cash book instead of the bush limited account so the third entry fad works so goods worth fifty thousand naira on credit to adjust let's look at this one adjust is a debtor and we are selling goods to adjust on credit which means we have we have to identify recognize the debtors in the book of account and who is our debtors here adjust that is we are going to open adjust account and this is a sales so we open sales account so this time around when we are selling so adjust the debtor we are going to debit adjust account with fifty thousand naira that is adjust sales fifty thousand naira why the corresponding credit entry goes to what to the sales account that is we credit sales account with adjust fifty thousand naira remember the name that will be used will be the name you use to open the account so why the fourth one johnson ventures sold goods 
what eight thousand naira in cash to adjust so adjust is also involved this time around but in the case of this one it is a cash transaction the one we just treated it is a credit transaction that's the reason why we recognize adjust in the book of account since this time around i just made payment for the goods we have no business with the adjust so that means we are going to open cash account and sales account so we open cash account then we open sales account so the cash account we receive money from the goods we sold that means we are going to debit the cash account with eight thousand naira why we call the corresponding credit entry we goes to the sales account by crediting the sales account with eight thousand naira so the fifth one purchased furniture in cash thirty thousand naira so this time around if we look at it Furniture is an asset. The furniture that is being purchased is not with the intention of being sold. So, which means we are going to identify, we are going to recognize furniture as an account. Then we have cash, which is cash account. So, like I said, anytime we have cash, cash transaction, we recognize cash account and the items account. In the case of this one, the item being purchased is furniture. So we are going to recognize furniture account. Take note, anytime they purchase, what the business purchase are for used. So that means it is an asset. So it is the account of that item we, that will be open. But if they purchase the I, an item with the intention of being sold, that means it's going to be purchases account. That's the difference between the two. So we are going to have cash account. Then we open furniture account so this time around payment money is going now that is we are going to credit cash account with thirty thousand naira so why we debit the furniture account with thirty thousand naira that is for every credit entry there must be a corresponding debit entry so we balance the account of furniture like that why the last one is paid electricity in cash ten thousand naira. electricity is an expenses so why the nature of the transaction is cash that means we are going to have cash transaction and we have the electricity transaction so this is payment that is we open cash account then we open electricity account cash is going now that is we are going to credit cash account with ten thousand naira. why the corresponding debit entry goes to the electricity account so that is all about the preparation of ledger and that is how to apply the double entry principle in preparing ledger if you have any question you can drop it under the comment section below and for more explanation about this video you can visit the site that appear on the screen which is so far accounting tutorial the blogspot.com so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video share it with others and make comment below until the next lesson we will be meeting i say bye for now